evening, good morning. Pull it, babe. Right, walk backwards, your hands, yup. And just turn around to it. Okay, take your time. We have the cicada back in a spot. <laughs> I swear, I think she's deflating every day. <laughs> I swear. Oh, she's doing my 300 pound challenge. And I'm, I'm quite clearly think that she's not 300 pounds anymore <laughs> within a couple of days. Um, big shout out to Jacqueline, Sherry, um, Denise that is doing the 300 pound challenge as well. I have a few people that's in my inbox asking about it and I'm thinking about doing one more. Let's go. Push it, baby. One. Nice. Two. Three. Nice. Four. Push through. Five. Six, you already did one round. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, here we go. Ten, this is round two. Inside the bag, um, about 40 pounds. Inside the bag. Push through, baby. Keep that body low. Make sure you're in front of it, that you have to stretch for it so we can make sure that we work in your back, as we would call it, is your lats. Down by the bra area. You know, us women hate this area. Let's go. Come on. Bring that booty out. Hey, let me move this out the way. Pull it. Nice. Listen, so when she go down like that, right? See how she going all the way back. Now back, 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 back. Now see how she grabbed for That's going to incorporate her core. Her core as well. Shoulders, calves, hamstring. Push it, baby. Go ahead back. Pull. Deep breathing. Find that air. If she fall, the round doesn't count. Nice. Come on, pull it. I got needs to go back where you started in the beginning. Don't come up. Don't come up. Go back down. Well, nope. That bag gotta go back. Even with the see them cords and stuff back there where you started from. Let's go. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it hard, babe. Nice. There you go. Oh, Come on up. And she can't just fall on her knees. You know why? Because it takes more muscle and energy to push herself up with her hands instead of just falling flat on the floor like, oh, like her last ending one. Yes, fine. But as she's doing it, each one, she's not to just fall down. She got to push her body weight up with her hands. This is round two that she just completed. She got this. She got this. She got this. Good morning, everyone. Hey, cousin. Good morning. Hey, Jackie. She said, go, Kata. Jackie Ruffin. Ruffin. I'm done with the second one. Like, bust out. <laughs> that shit came out of nowhere. I, I'm beginning to think you got a water sprinkler on you somewhere. Yeah, man. Good morning, Miss Jones, Diana. Good morning, ladies. Get it. She said, get it. She said, good morning. Good morning, everyone. All right. Let's go. Somebody asked me what time do I get up. I get up at 2 in the morning. I train myself at 3 a.m. to 5. Then my first client come in at 5. She is actually my third client um, now. And um, I train from 5. My last client come at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Get it. 5. Beast, six, seven, this is round three, eight, nine, push through, ten, ha <laughs> ha, honey God, watch this transformation, y'all, watch this, There you go. Push through, baby. Grab for it. Grab for it. Grab for it. Nice. Remember, if anybody doing this, make sure you pass the bag. See how she's passing the bag now? Then she have to reach for it and pull it down to her private area like. All right? So then you make sure you incorporate your lats, your shoulder, your core, your stomach. You should feel it like pulling in your stomach when you go to pull for it. All right? Just take any bag, your, your kid's book bag. Throw a bunch of their books inside of it. Listen, be creative. 
Ooh. Be creative. Don't grab for it yet. Deep breathing, babe. Just walk on to the back. Walk back some. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, just go ahead. Walk to the back, and I'll tell you when to grab for it. Take your booty out the air. Come back in that stomach. Go ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She got this. There you go. Grab for it. Don't fall. There you go. Come on. Get back there. Get back there. Get back there. You almost there, babe. Pull it back. It should be back even with the blue can back there. There you go. Come on. You got to take your mind. Boom. There, there you go. Round three is down. She had one more round and she is done with that. We're going to move on to her next challenge. You got this. Deep breathing. Good morning. Oh, oh, also, somebody had asked me, um, um, how often should you drink BCAs? First of all, read the back of it. They tell you right there. But I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> I drink it all day. Actually, I drink a gallon of it all day. <laughs> All throughout the day. Inside of a gallon, I put four scoops. I truly believe motivation without information sometimes can have you at a standstill. You get it? You have somebody that, should, that motivates you and everything. You see them getting results. But if they never show you or inquire about what they do, it'll have you like, okay, she look nice. Or, you know, yeah, she losing a little weight, but what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> so I like to be really sometimes break down some things. You okay? You okay? Sometimes you got eye fillers, though. You know, that's why when people come to my class, what do I do before my class, Kena? You stretch? No, what do I do when we get to class before we even do anything? While you guys are sitting down or standing there, what do I do? Usually, one, let us know your story. Right. I speak about motivation. I speak about what else? Nutrition. Food. Food. It's very important. Exercise. I feel as though I don't want to train you if I can't train your mind. You know, what is the use of me keep training your body if you know don't know what the hell you're doing things for? So when you're not with me, you basically just winging it because you don't know what the hell is the purpose. So if I can give you a mind muscle connection type of information, you'll do it better. All right, let's go. Okay. Excuse me, gotta see my husband. I'm sorry, y'all. Have a good day. Okay, let's get it. I got. Yes, babe, you got this. You got this. Trust me. <laughs> you got this. Oh my goodness. You got it. You got it. Peace move. All you only thing you can think about is the end of it. Getting down at the bottom. Let's get it. Let's go. One. Deep breathing. Two. Three. Four. Finding. Five. Y'all see how squats get low? Six. I love it. Seven. Eight. Find it. Nine. Let's go. One more. Ten. Great job. Woo, baby. Baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. It's crazy because I can know I know exactly what she feel like. Sheet. You got it. Take your mind somewhere else. Deep breathing. Find that air. She got me breathing deep. Here we go. Inside of the bag is 40 pounds. See how low she is? She got to pull. Breathe. That's right. When you go to pull it, Blow, blow, blow. Contract those abs. Make them have the extra double work. Because you're already in a, a position where your, your core have to be stable to hold your body weight up. If anybody had a C-section, such as myself, you will know that your core 
incorporate a lot of things. You don't know until something wrong with your damn body. You be like, damn, I ain't know my sto- my stomach Invol- involves that too. Pull it. There you go. All the way to the back. All the way to the back. There you go. There you go. Pull it, baby. Pull it. Pull it. Push it. Great job. Great push. Great job.